Hey everybody, this is Kristen with KCP Commercial here to do a video for you about how and what we bid and what we look for in a parking lot when we do our bids. So to start with, this is an example of a bid sheet that we used to use. We don't use this format anymore, but all of the information is still the same as we use today. I will say that each market is different, so we blacked out our pricing because that's going to be something that you'll have to figure out for your area. It's probably not going to be the same as us. Uh, so to start out with, we do break our bids down into task, quantity, and price. We do this because we want to be completely transparent with our customers. So with each task, we let them know what it is and how much each of them um, there is in their parking lot and then what we charge for those. Um, to start out with the tasks, we start with parking space lines. We include hatch marks just because it's a better price for them per linear feet to do it all included as parking space lines, as well as we don't have to roll out every hatch mark, which would take a really long time. Uh, we add curb, which is a little bit higher price than just additional linear feet because it takes more work as well as more paint. Additional linear feet would be anything like a center line or semi docks, things that don't just fit into parking space lines. We also have our ADA stencils, and then we have bollard poles, alpha, num alpha number stencils, such as stop or no parking, our directional arrows, pole bases, and then we also do a color change. Say if we have to go from red to yellow to white, it's just a lot of work and a lot of material. So we do add price for color change. We also do an additional prep if there's a lot of things that need to be prepped before we work and then miscellaneous. So anything that doesn't fit another category such as speed bumps or crosswalks or sweeps or anything like that. Um, in the notes section, we'll typically put the color of the paint that we're using more for our benefit than anything. And then we also require a deposit, especially because um, over the past couple of years, there's been a paint shortage. So we do ask for that 40% upfront so that we can have a deposit to get that paint secured. Um, but also because it also secures that job for us. So if a company is willing to give us a deposit, then that means that they're really interested in getting that job done and we don't actually have to sign a full contract because they've already given us some money. So if you have any questions, put them in the comments. Otherwise, don't forget to like and subscribe and we will see you all soon.